Digestive system, from mouth to anus, understanding the anatomy and physiology of the digestive system. Hello, welcome to the Science Guide ASAP Learning. Today we are going to be speaking about the anatomy and physiology of the digestive system. Hope this helps. Please support this new channel by liking this video and subscribing for more videos like this one. Be sure to watch the other videos in this anatomy and physiology playlist. The digestive system is a group of organs that work together to break down food into its component nutrients, which can then be absorbed into the body and used for energy and other bodily functions. The process of digestion begins in the mouth, where food is mechanically broken down by chewing and mixed with saliva, which contains enzymes that begin the process of breaking down carbohydrates. From the mouth, food travels down the esophagus to the stomach, where it is further broken down by the acidic environment and digestive enzymes. The stomach also mixes the food with gastric juices, which help to break down proteins and kill any bacteria that may be present. After the stomach, food enters the small intestine, where the majority of nutrient absorption takes place. The small intestine is lined with specialized cells called villi and microvilli, which increase the surface area available for absorption. Nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream and transported to the liver for processing. After the small intestine, any remaining undigested material enters the large intestine, or colon, where water is absorbed and waste products are formed. The waste products are eliminated from the body through the rectum and anus. The digestive system is regulated by a complex network of nerves and hormones. The enteric nervous system, which is sometimes referred to as the second brain, controls many aspects of digestion, such as the contraction of muscles in the digestive tract and the secretion of digestive enzymes. Hormones such as gastrin, secretin, and cholecystokinin also play important roles in regulating digestion. The digestive system can be affected by a variety of factors, including diet, stress, and medication. Diseases and disorders of the digestive system can range from minor issues such as indigestion and constipation to more serious conditions such as inflammatory bowel disease and colon cancer. Treatment for digestive disorders depends on the specific condition and may include medication, dietary changes, and in some cases, surgery. Maintaining a healthy diet and lifestyle can help to prevent many digestive problems and promote overall digestive health. One important aspect of the digestive system is the role of digestive enzymes. Digestive enzymes are specialized proteins that break down food into smaller, more easily absorbed molecules. Different types of enzymes are involved in the breakdown of different nutrients. For example, amylase breaks down carbohydrates, while lipase breaks down fats. The digestive system also relies on a variety of hormones to regulate digestion. One important hormone is ghrelin, which is produced by the stomach and stimulates hunger. Other hormones such as leptin, insulin, and glucagon help to regulate appetite and control blood sugar levels. The liver plays an important role in digestion as well. It produces bile, which helps to break down fats and aids in their absorption. The liver also detoxifies harmful substances in the body and stores excess nutrients such as vitamins and minerals. Disorders of the digestive system can arise from a variety of causes, including genetic factors, infections, and lifestyle factors such as diet and stress. Some common digestive disorders include gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, and inflammatory bowel disease, IBD. Treatment for digestive disorders often involves a combination of medication, dietary changes, and lifestyle modifications. For example, GERD may be treated with medications that reduce the production of stomach acid, while IBS may be managed with dietary changes such as reducing intake of certain foods that trigger symptoms. Overall, maintaining a healthy digestive system is essential for overall health and well-being. This can be achieved through a balanced diet that is rich in fiber and nutrients, regular exercise, and stress management techniques. Another important aspect of the digestive system is the gut microbiome. The gut microbiome refers to the trillions of microorganisms, such as bacteria, fungi, and viruses, that live in the intestines. These microorganisms play a crucial role in digestion, nutrient absorption, and immune system function. They also produce certain vitamins, such as vitamin K and biotin, that the body cannot produce on its own. Research has shown that an imbalanced gut microbiome may contribute to a variety of digestive disorders, as well as other health problems such as obesity, diabetes, and autoimmune diseases. Therefore, maintaining a healthy balance of gut bacteria is important for overall health. The digestive system also plays a role in the immune system. The digestive tract is lined with immune cells that help to defend against harmful pathogens and toxins. The gut microbiome also plays a role in immune function, as it helps to train the immune system to recognize and respond to harmful invaders. Finally, it's worth noting that the digestive system is closely connected to other bodily systems. For example, the brain-gut axis refers to the connection between the nervous system and the digestive system. This connection allows for bidirectional communication between the two systems, and it is thought to play a role in regulating digestion, appetite, and mood. In addition, certain medical conditions and medications can affect the digestive system. For example, antibiotics can disrupt the balance of gut bacteria, leading to digestive problems. Autoimmune conditions such as celiac disease and Crohn's disease can also cause inflammation and damage to the digestive tract. In summary, the digestive system is a complex network of organs, enzymes, hormones, and microorganisms that work together to break down food and extract nutrients for the body to use. Maintaining a healthy digestive system is important for overall health, and it involves a combination of healthy lifestyle habits, balanced diet, and medical treatment as needed. 
Hope this helps. Please support this new channel by liking this video and subscribing for more videos like this one. Be sure to watch the other videos in this anatomy and physiology playlist.